I had choose to study at Bristol because it's a really well-regarded university. I like the idea of black boxes and trying to work out what's inside them. When I was at school, I used to love physics and mathematics. When graduating, I decided to go for electrical and electronic engineering because it encompasses both those disciplines. A lot of people think of electrical engineering as sort of this black magic that you don't really know what goes on and a lot of people don't really understand it and I wanted to understand it. It gives you with all the foundation knowledge you need in order to tackle complex problems. Electrical and electronic engineering I think is the most fast moving, most dynamic side of engineering. You're really at the front of what's happening in the world and in my view the future is going to be electrical and electronic so I want to be learning about the stuff that's going to be relevant. I think the big three societal issues are healthcare, energy and transport. And these are three areas where you can clearly see the important role played by electronic engineering. Electronic engineering is, is everywhere and uh, one of the sort of modern applications that we're seeing more and more is green energy, like this wind turbine here. Everybody in the country has plugged something into a, a socket on the wall. In the past it's always come from sort of large coal powered generators in, in big power stations, but as we move on to a more neutral way of generating energy, we're going to be seeing more and more things like this. The electrical engineering department here at Bristol is, uh, is very research-led and uh, this is something that, that will uh, have a big impact on, uh, on, on our students when they come here. They're being taught by people who are really passionate about the subject and uh, very, very knowledgeable. And we sometimes get visiting lectures in who are, you know, doing their cutting edge research and I can sit there in the lecture and go, I, I was taught that on Monday, you know, that kind of thing. That's really what, you know, I enjoy being taught at, at Bristol. University makes sure you have to be a bit more independent than you ever were before. You really do have to put in some hours and think about what you've just learned. I really enjoyed the step up. It was a massive leap of independence. The course starts off um, covering the fundamentals. So in the first year we have to get students to know about digital systems, analog electronics, the foundations of control theory, together with a mathematical toolbox. You need to have skills, uh, a good understanding of physics, a good mathematical understanding, but also uh, be creative and be able to bring different disciplines together in new ways and make things happen differently. Certainly electronics is one of the fast moving engineering uh, disciplines. It's, it's probably a lot easier to introduce innovation into practice uh, in electronics because of the type of the manufacturer and the type of devices um, that we build. The practical lab sessions are relevant to the, to the theoretical knowledge that you're learning and kind of just back it up and reinforce that what well, you might not have understood through the theory. I think for me the main reason to study at Bristol University would be the standard of teaching and um, academia that is here. What's fantastic here is that if you've ever got a problem you can just ask. You have so much choice to give them an email and just say look I'm really struggling can you help me and they are more than happy to give you time. We are a research-led university and um, for very good reason because our staff are working on the cutting edge of this discipline. If I look at my own example, I, I teach uh, mobile communications uh, and here for the last three or four years I've been doing work with, uh, with Motorola, uh, working on their fourth generation technology. You're not learning stuff from five years ago, you're learning stuff that's current and now and every new development that comes in, you're being taught that. I can apply all the knowledge I gain throughout my studies into working on a project that can actually lead into a solution that can help people either improving their life or either, either in the entertainment uh, sector. I love problem solving. I think it's kind of embedded into any types of engineers really. I, I like the way that it makes you look at the world in a different way and you see pr problems and you want to solve them and you're thinking, oh, well, maybe I could use this and that's kind of how the degree works. I think it's important to work in a department that has good links with industry where you can really see the direction with what you're doing the path between your degree and your career. Industry is crying out for graduates and so much so that recently industry has been putting scholarships together to try to encourage young people to go into electrical and electronic engineering. 
We would target um, Bristol graduates because we are a hardware company. We build products, real RF hardware, and uh, Bristol graduates in particular are um, skilled in that area. What attracted me to Bristol was that it had the large city feel and had all the modern conveniences that a large city would have but in a small compact size that you can get around very easily. If you want to be busy, you will always be busy. Bristol's a great city to, to live in. There's, uh, the university is not a campus and personally I prefer that because you feel like you're living in the city more. Uh, it's great nightlife. Bristol's a great city to be in. It's very exciting, it's very cultural, it's, it's a beautiful city to be in. I would recommend people come to Bristol University because I've had such a great three years, so I don't think other people should have the same.